Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to create some highlights. So quickly open up a workspace in Canva and let's get started. This is the picture I will be using to illustrate. So click on it, drag it out a little bit to make it a little bit bigger. And then we are going to duplicate this picture one more time. Okay, bring this picture down. Just the first one, the one on top. Bring it down and we are going to work on the back picture first. Click on it and edit photo, go to filters and find a black and white uh, filter that you want to put on your photo. Okay, there will be a lot of choices for you to choose from so take any that you like. Now we're going to put that picture back up and then we are going to do the same thing again. We are going to go to edit photo and then here we are going to do a background remove. Okay, and uh, we are going to remove, erase everything that we don't need from this image okay so just be careful when you come to the sides of this image we don't want to take away anything from the penguin i'm going to highlight just the penguin in this image okay so just be careful when you reach the side everything else will be okay just slow down a little bit when you reach some uh, tricky areas so that you don't end up cutting off uh, from the image that you actually want to be highlighted Otherwise, it will become another tedious process. You will have to redo this entire thing again. Okay, so just take it uh, slowly. No need to uh, erase chunks at a time. Just do it bit by bit and you'll be good to go. Okay, so now this is done and I will just click on the arrow button and then we are going to go back to our workspace. So here, this is our highlighted penguin image. Now I'll show you another one. We'll just uh, work on this image, do the same thing, duplicate this image. Okay, we are going to work on the first one first, edit photo, go to filters and then check on the, click on the black and white image that you want. Then bring it back up, then we are going to edit the photo again and then remove the background. Here you don't have to do much uh, because it's already highlighted unless you want to specifically highlight some sections from the background then you can uh, do that by restoring instead of erasing. So there you have it. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.